Hi, this is Thomas from AP Scheme Tools. This is the second video of uh, showing how to move units through script. In this video, we're going to look at uh, the new feature added in 1.2, which allows you to move a unit by giving it a manual path. That means that you will assign the unit a path that hasn't uh, has not been around the pathfinder. So, um, in order to show that, I'm going to show you the script first. So, let's go to the to Visual Studio. Right now, as you can see, I've just created this simple mono behavior, and um, as with the other example of moving my unit, I have gotten a reference to my unit as an iMovable. So, let's look at the option that we have now. Oops. Um, so, now I have this method called move along. Um, and move along uh, takes a path as its argument. This is called the manual path. So I'm just going to uh, make a new one of that, and then we're going to see what that requires. As you can see, um, the manual path has two arguments. It has a replan callback uh, as the first argument, and then it has a path as the second argument. As you can see, there are a number of different options that you can use to give it a path. Um, so uh, let's just look at these in turn. Um, I'm just gonna finish that one over there. Um, maybe let's separate it up here so that it's it's a little easier to look at. So we're just gonna do like this, and then I'm just gonna drag in some stuff here. Um, let's just take that one down here. And I'm also going to drag this one in here. So just to satisfy the constructor, there we go. So now I've actually done the example. So um, just to go through this, um, this replanning callback, uh, this is called when the unit needs to replan. This uh, works the same as it does for normal movement of the unit. When the move, uh, when the unit moves around, um, things can happen that will make the current path that it is moving along invalid, um, can be blocked, whatever, doors can close, and so forth. And when, when that happens, the unit will ask for a new path because its current path is invalid. Now, normally, of course, this will be something that is forwarded to. Um, the pathfinder to give it a new path, but in the case where you give it your a manual path, you will also be responsible for giving it a new path when it needs to replan. Of course, you can also just turn replanning off altogether on the unit, and then you won't have to do anything. Um, now, that was the replanning callback. We'll just get into that in a second, and then the second part of it is is just a path. So in this case, I'm just gonna I've just used one of the overloads. I'm just giving it a um, a number of a vector threes uh, that it will move along. Now uh, and then I just call my method. So the replanner just to cover that quickly. As you can see, it's it's this is the signature of the replanner. It it gets the unit. Uh, so one argument, it gets the current destination, uh, what the unit was moving towards when something happened, um, and then it, the path that you originally gave it. So it will be the same as the one up here. So this one you can simply update with a new path. Now, as you can see, this example is, is rather silly, which is also why I called it that. This will just update it with the exact same uh, path as I just did up here. Obviously, what you would want to do is evaluate whether the unit is now, and then you would give it an, up, an updated path that would actually be valid. Um, now, of course, it's up to you to find out what is valid. That would normally be what the pathfinder finds out for you. But um, if you've used this manual uh, path, then you probably also know how to navigate your units. Anyway, uh, let's go back and um, see this in action. So I'm just going to save this and going back into Unity. Already attached this moving along script. So all I have to do is start. And as you can see, moves along on the small triangle. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So that's how you move your units manually.